So the harsh reality is there will be a lot of crypto companies that fail ahead of this next Bitcoin halving. And the other harsh reality is that many altcoins will also fail. Many altcoins will get bought out by other companies or various products will get transferred over. There will be massive consolidation in the cryptocurrency markets. We've seen it in every other new technology, right? We think about the dot-com era and what that looked like. There were some really big winners, but there were also some really big losers. And that's the risk we take as crypto investors. And it's a harsh reality, but it is what it is. And this video is meant to not scare you or freak you out or cause fear or cause FUD or anything like that. It's meant to educate you to understand this is the harsh reality we're living in in this crazy cryptocurrency world. And what does this mean for us, though? Like, what should we actually do because of this harsh reality? So I think it's very, very important when you're looking at your overall portfolio and you're looking at your allocations. What do you own the most of? Is it a top 20 crypto? Is it a top 100 crypto? Do you have Bitcoin and Ethereum? Do you have a backbone in your portfolio? Because so many people just dive into five crazy altcoins and expect that they're okay, that they expect they're all set, they're ready to go. And that's just not the case, right? Listen, dabbling in different sectors, whether it's meme coins, um, layer ones, DeFi, gaming, AI, I think it's a brilliant idea. Understanding the entire landscape, understanding how to find gems, or at least have high conviction in certain gems in different areas and sectors of the market, I think it's a great plan. But I've mentioned this many, many times before. I have a backbone in my portfolio that is made up of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and now I've added a couple other cryptos in there as well. Polygon, Matic, Chainlink, Caspa are also included in there as kind of my backbone of my portfolio. I'm only allocating about 10 to 12%, okay, of let's use this portion of the portfolio to go find hopefully a couple gems, knowing the fact that many of them won't work, knowing the fact that many of them will not succeed. Here's the other thing. Every cryptocurrency that you own in your portfolio should have a specific goal, a specific, you should have a specific goal and a specific plan with that crypto. For instance, one crypto that launches yesterday, maybe the goal is to three to five exit and get out fully versus Bitcoin, I'm stacking sets. I'm trying to gain as much Bitcoin as I can over the next five to 10 years, right? There's different goals with every crypto. And I think so many people just kind of go into it, you know, without a plan. And they're just, you know, picking and choosing different cryptos. And I'm just going to hodl forever and I'm going to be set. It's not how it works, right? Like you've got to be mobile. You've got to be able to pivot and switch and change. You don't want to over trade, right? So you got to find that balance. You don't want to just trade, 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 trade get out every time something goes down 10% or whatever, and now you're just getting destroyed and wrecked because you're over-trading. But the moral of the story is like, I don't know, what, 90% of altcoins right now that are out there on the market probably aren't going to be here in the same form or fashion that they're in right now. Maybe they get bought out, right? But maybe they just fail completely. And I was reading this article on Cointelegraph basically talking about how we should expect some companies to fail in the wake of the Bitcoin halving because people are going to try to rush to market with different products. They're going to try to rush in uh, and take advantage of the Bitcoin halving events, which obviously as a whole is usually a bullish case for crypto, right? However, like many altcoins get flushed out during this time period as well. And many people are going to be flocking into Bitcoin first and foremost when this institutional push comes, as they should, as they should, right? Because let's call it what it is. We're already in a really risky asset class. Mitigating that risk is our goal, right? Understanding the risk that we're taking and understanding that, hey, this gives us a opportunity here to be here long term, not just get into a couple altcoins, get wrecked in one bear cycle, and now we have a sour taste in our mouth and we're done with cryptocurrency. Like that is not what we want to do, right? So Hopefully this video finds you well, uh, but keep in mind, 
Crypto is increasingly coming under the scrutiny of global regulators right now, particularly in Europe. We don't really have even clarity in the United States. This should certainly give us reason to be skeptical a little bit all the time, right? Because at the end of the day, we don't have all the answers we need just yet in order to say, hey, all of these investments are good, right? And companies out there, I know a lot of companies out there that are literally staying abreast of all these developments right now as new regulations could be implemented. And now they've got to pivot fully or they might just go under. Like, it's just the harsh reality. So how do you combat that? Again, having a backbone in your portfolio, having a thesis, understanding how much you're risking and trying to mitigate that risk as you navigate this crypto environment and take advantage of the next five to 10 years. Hopefully this video gave you some good uh, breakdown here and um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys out there so, so much. Happy Friday to you. And uh, yeah, enjoy the weekend and um, just know that when the markets dip, it's natural. Don't freak out, right? There's no reason to go crazy here, but that's what I got. Appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Also, check out uh, my links to XTAlgo. If you are a trader out there and you don't have some type of indicator, you need to have one. 85% of traders have this tool in their toolbox. I've got one for you at a great discount. 30-day money-back guarantee. You can try it today. It works like a gem. It has all year long. Uh, and I'll leave the links down below so you guys can check that out. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.